everyone. What's up? In today's video, I'm gonna have a quick, simple, easy walkthrough how we can use Verso, the SaaS platform, to publish your script as serverless web application to the internet. No coding requirement, just a simple clicks. You will get amazing Python web application to show your web applications visitors their public IP. Let's start it. You don't need to have any code experience, but you do need to have two accounts. One is Versus account, one is GitHub account, as a demo I show you today. I already have both, so you can click login, then you can continue with GitHub. The example I'm going to use in for today is under my 51 sec account, GitHub account, and I have IP this repository. This script is just use a show your visitors public IP address. So sometimes when you are not sure what is your public IP, you can just visit this URL and you can get your public IP. It's simple as is. So there's an API folder. When in the API folder, there's index.py. So that all coding you will need it. So it's already there. What you will do once you get your account, you find out the uh, my repository. 51 sec IP this repository, you just need to fork it. Then you fork it into your account. Then you can just go back to Verso, new project. It will gonna ask you which repository you want to import. So since we are using IP this project, you just click import. Then we are using personal account, it's a free tier account. You don't need to pay anything. There's some, of course, there's some limitations there, but uh, for personal usage, you don't need to worry about it at all. Select it. It will automatically import the files under your repository in here as a project. So then you give your project a name and in saying I don't want to change anything, just say deploy. In a couple of seconds, your application is going to be up. You will also get the email to telling you which URL you can use to visit your project. You can see all deployment process. So congratulations, your project has been successfully deployed. Uh, there's a screenshot here. It shows for for uh, error message not found. It's okay if you click visit. It will show that that is because we are our application is not running on a root folder. Since we are using Python script, you have to put in the API folder as I did. And once you're using API, you will get your public IP. As you can see from screen. We can also try it from one of my cloud VPS. Girl, Get uh, HTTPS IP slash verso dot app slash API. You also will get the public IP. So it's very convenient this app when you are not sure what's your public IP. Actually, we can do more on this one. It's going to be a little bit hard for you to remember your this randomly assigned uh, URL from Whistle. Uh, we can assign 
a customized domain for your for your project. For example, if we want to get the IP of fifty-one-sec.org, you can just add it. Of course, it's gonna be getting an error because we didn't do any configuration as shown from here. You can add the same name to your domain management platform and then that should be when you do refresh that, sh that error should be resolved. So actually we can try that easily for the same name. You're gonna put an IP Gonna copy this C name value into target. One thing you need to keep that in member, you cannot use some proxy. Cancel the proxy, just let it run DNS only for your proxy status. Save it. That's all what you need. And once we come back to our project settings, it automatically shows a past a validation. We can try ap.51sec.org and API. Bump, we get uh, our public IP here. We also can verify through VPS platform. We also get the public IP. So you can see how easy and simple deploy one Python script into a virtual as a serverless application. It's very helpful when you are trying to decide it where is uh, your public IP from the command line or either from your browser. I hope this video is helpful for you to deploy your own script into cloud without any cost. If you have any question, please let me know. Give me a thumb up if you like my video. Thank you and I'll see you in next video.